I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays, everyone. Today we'll be opening up this John Deere oil filter, number AM107423, and we'll be comparing it against this Baldwin oil filter, number B33. And I got both of these oil filters from a very generous viewer whose name is Daryl from Pella, Iowa. Thanks, Daryl. These oil filters fit Daryl's 1996 John Deere self-propelled lawnmower. Yep, the one with the 5.5 horsepower Kawasaki engine. I don't think I've ever seen a walk-behind lawnmower that takes a spin-on oil filter. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the John Deere oil filter and we'll start with the box. And if we look over here, manufactured for John Deere and company. Made in Brazil. And that's about all the important information on this box. The day code on this filter, 2572. Okay, and this is a sticker on here. And also on here, we got the filter number. Also on here, it says Made in Brazil. Instructions. Okay, and this filter has six inlet holes. Metal cord louvers, bypass valve down below, dome end, four grooves there for threads, and a nitro rubber gasket. As you can see it sticks out pretty good. Let's see how well it's on here. Yeah, it's on here pretty good too. Yeah. Okay. And the Baldwin oil filter. BaldwinFilters.com Look over here, it says Made in USA. And that's pretty much all the important information on this box. Date code 04082412005. And this is printed on. Instructions. Look over here, it'll say Made in USA. Okay, and this filter has eight inlet holes, metal coral louvers, bypass valve at the dome end, also like four grooves there for threads, and a nitro rubber gasket. It's got this glue, see that, it looks like a bluish glue, blue colored glue there, going around there, we'll check that out later. You can see how much it sticks out, and how's this gasket on here? This gasket's on here pretty good. Yeah, it's on here real good. So I'm just going to leave it. See how much they stick out. Compare them. Eh, pretty equal. Okay, two different base plates. And Baldwin's a little bit bigger. I almost forgot to weigh these. John Deere filter, 192.4 grams. The Baldwin filter, 215.216 grams even. All right, let me cut these two filters open, see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, so here they are cut open. Let's take a look at the gaskets. Now I'll put the thickness up on the screen. You can see the John Deere gaskets a little bit thicker. Both look like nice gaskets, so. Base plates. The Baldwin on the right has more inlet holes, but the one, uh, the John Deere has a little bit bigger holes, so I think that would equal out. Let's see the threads there. Yeah, both got the same amount of groups for threads. And this, the Baldwin has this this blue stuff in here, some kind of sealer. I guess it's riveted here and they put a sealer there just to make sure it doesn't leak. That's pretty good. Can't see it on this one, but it is also riveted. All right, well, they both look good. Okay, any drain back valves? 
Now the Baldwin, well, actually the Baldwin looks like a nitro rubber Adrian back valve. And the John Deere looks, it's a greenish color. So this could be a, this could be silicone. I'm going to do a burn test at the end. And we'll see what it is. See if it is silicone or nitro rubber. How's it fit over the, fits really nice over the base plate. And so does the Baldwin. Yeah, those are nice. Okay, filter elements. Let's, let's start with the start with the uh, John Deere metal crimp seam. I counted forty-seven pleats. They're a little a little gappy here, but then they're close over here. Metal end caps. And all I can find out about this filter is it's a synthetic blend filter media. Synthetic blend media. I couldn't find the micron rating. I mean, on one website I've seen it said 25, but I don't know. It doesn't say at what percentage. Okay. Now the Baldwin oil filter. Baldwin oil filter has got a little excess glue here. And it's got some kind of inside seam somewhere, probably right there. And I counted 43 pleats. Four, yeah, four less pleats. And they're pretty good spaced out, except for right here. Now here they're nice. They get a little gappy here, these two spots. Got a bypass valve right here, which has a setting of 14 PSI. A little excess glue here and here. Okay, they got really sloppy though in this spot. And the, the Baldwin filter is a cellulose media with a micron rating of 23 nominal and 45 absolute. Okay. Now, Baldwin has a coil spring and the John Deere has this type of uh, bypass valve, leaf spring bypass valve. Now it's having a hard time focusing today here. Now I don't have the setting for this bypass valve and the cans. Well, you can check the thickness out. I'll put that up on the screen. They're both pretty similar. Both uh, thick cans. Now let's get the width of these filter elements. So the John Deere, 1.64 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. Baldwin, 2.16 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. Yeah, it looks like the ball is going to have more filter media for sure. But you never know. It just depends how deep they are here. All right. Let me cut these two filters open. Stretch them out and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are both stretched out. And the John Deere filter is 35 and a half inches long. And the Baldwin filter is 40 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness of this filter media. The John Deere filter, 0.71 millimeters thick. The Baldwin filter, 1.33 millimeters thick. Quite a bit thicker. And right here, we got the filtering side, back side. And if we take a look at these guys under a microscope, they both look like they do a really good job of filtering. The Baldwin perhaps just a little bit better because there's a couple little light spots on the John Deere filter. So let's take a look at that picture.
So they both look like they do a pretty good job of filtering. But you get about 28 more square inches of filter media with the Baldwin filter. I forgot to mention I had the Baldwin filter media turned upside down to show that it had an inside metal crimp seam. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. Okay, so I'm not going to go over all the components all over again, but I'll just go look at this louvers. And shut the light off there. Okay, you can see those are opened up. This is the John Deere filter. And the Baldwin filter. Yeah, you can see those are opened up also. Those are all fine. Those louvers are fine. We already went through all these other components, so I'm not going to bother going through that. But we'll do the burn test. I'll put this light back on. Okay, so let's put these two on here, and uh, let's start with the let's start with this bald one. This one looks like it's natural rubber. So if it starts up easy. Black smoke, that's nitro rubber. Yeah, that's black smoke. It's burning really easy. It's definitely nitro rubber. <laughs> yep, it's black. Black ash. Now, if this has a white ash, white smoke, and it doesn't smell like this one just did, and it doesn't burn easy, it should be silicone. Let's see. It is starting hard. Oh, now it's burning easy. Looks like a white smoke. Let's see if it's a white ash. Yeah, that's a white ash, so this is silicone. Oh, there you have it, silicone on the John Deere filter. Okay. So what do you guys think about these two filters? I think I'd take the Baldwin just because it has more filter media, but I think either filter would do a good job. And again, I want to thank Daryl for sending me these two oil filters, and I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays, I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. We got white ash, white smoke, and it doesn't stink. Yep, looks like silicone to me.